Um, Philippe, you're a leader in environmental advocacy as well as sustainability, and you've just launched a startup. Can you tell us a little bit about what it does? Absolutely. So Voyacy Regen is a blue tech company that's focused on combining breakthrough technologies to build coastal marine infrastructure to solve what is one of the biggest uh, challenges facing coastal communities around the world, and that is the collapse of the coral reef ecosystems that serve as a shield against what are increasingly catastrophic uh, storms and storm surge that is threatening. I mean, this is, you know, it's, it's, this is not about uh, snorkeling and, and, and pretty fish. This is about ecosystems that, uh, the, the collapse of which is threatening hundreds of billions of dollars of infrastructure and tens of millions of lives every single year. Can you tell us a little bit about how the technology works? Um, you know, from 3D printing to aquaculture? Yes, aquaculture. To AI. Tell us a little bit about how it works. So about 25 years ago, I met a scientist named Dr. David Vaughn, and he was growing corals for the aquarium trade. And, and I thought to myself, and, and in conversations with him, do you think that it would be possible to farm corals in a land-based nursery for active reef restoration? And so we raised money. It took us about a year uh, to raise philanthropic dollars to start the project. And indeed, he went on to revolutionize and, and create an entire industry of coral aquaculture. And just a few years, uh, well, about 20 years later, just a few years ago, I was sitting down and thinking to myself, OK, there is a huge gap here. Uh, as I said, coral reefs can absorb 97% of storm surge. They're the most biodiverse eco marine ecosystem, well, ecosystem period on Earth. And we've lost half of our coral reefs in the last 40 years. And so we have technologies that can solve that problem. But the problem is that the, the gap is scale and investment. And so two years ago, two little girls in my life thinking about my legacy and how I wanted to shift my focus now going forward from you know, my focus on storytelling and, 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 and education for the last 20 years, continue to do that work, but figure out how do we actually pivot uh, to the step change needed to drive the kind of scale that we need in order to solve this problem, rebuild the world's coral reefs, and rebuild these shields. And so we founded Voice Regen as a way to do that. Now, combining different technologies is key here. So we have the ability to 3D construction, print, you know, print with 3D construction printers at a scale um, that is uh, much more affordable, uh, cost effective than traditional mold casting techniques. We can grow corals uh, rapidly. And we sat down uh, about two years ago, as I said, we, we thought to ourselves, how can we accelerate coral restoration 100x? And we figured out the technology by combining all these pieces, AI and machine learning and other technologies together, we think we can actually do better than that uh, by, by a factor of 10. Uh, and the idea is, how do we outpace ecological collapse with restoration? And again, the only way that we do that, as so many of you in this room know, being involved in the private sector and your leadership in the private sector, uh, we need to mobilize commercial approaches because it's unfair to expect that the nonprofit and policy communities by themselves and research communities are going to solve this problem. You're currently, your startup is currently pairing with Jordan, right? So we're a global company. Our first regional innovation hub is in the Kingdom of Jordan in partnership with His Majesty King Abdullah, and we announced that just last week at uh, the UN Ocean Conference. And that's in the Gulf of Aqaba? Gulf of Aqaba, yes. So what are the most promising early results you've seen there, if, you've, if you have any already? So we just uh, uh, opened up our innovation hub just, just a few weeks ago. Uh, but what's really interesting about the Gulf of Aqaba, and His Majesty in particular, who's a huge ocean advocate and, and a huge uh, champion for the ocean, is uh, the Gulf of Aqaba is the custodian of the last really healthy corals on Earth. So the northern part of the Red Sea, and in particular the Gulf of Aqaba, which is the, the right finger of the Red Sea that goes up, um, it is a place where that, that is hotter and saltier than any, than any other body of, of open water in the world. And consequently, the corals there have evolved to be more heat tolerant. And so that's a place with still thriving coral reefs. Um, but even they're starting to deal with issues around bleaching and storm surge and sea level rise. We have an audience of business people here. Um, can, can you elaborate a little bit on the business model? Yeah, so fundamentally, the, the only about 1% of charitable giving goes to support ocean causes. And it's believed we need to unlock billion, tens if not hundreds of billions of dollars a year in order to, to solve global ocean problems. Coral reefs in particular 
tens of billions of dollars. There is already billions and billions, this is a, 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 a tens of billions of dollars of, of, of money that exists for coastal infrastructure, countries trying to figure out this problem. There's a huge market and very little, if any, supply uh, to meet the demand. Uh, just take Florida, for example, already investing hundreds of millions of dollars a year, losing billions of dollars a year from hurricanes and, and damage from storm surge, desperately looking for a solution. DARPA uh, and the Defense Department is, has a project they launched that is focused, again, on uh, how do they build natural defenses for marine, uh, Navy bases around the world? Because, again, highly under, uh, at risk of storm surge. Um, from these increasingly violent storms. And so there is already a huge market out there for this. It's infrastructure funds, insurance industry. Insurance industry is desperate for solutions to this problem because again, hundreds of billions of dollars of infrastructure are at risk from these storms and already damaged every year. So they're seeing massive losses from this problem. So there's actually a lot of resources out there that are, that are looking for a solution and that's what we're doing. Tell me, how much does a project cost? The problem is that um, reefs tend to be linear, and the reefs that we're looking to rebuild to build coastal uh, um, protection are predominantly linear. So we actually look at, 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 at uh, length in kilometers and a width of anywhere between 8 to 10 meters um, to, build, to build these reefs. So we think about in those stretches, it's roughly around $10 million um, per kilometer. Um, so it just depends on the density and how much you're restoring, is there existing structure, et cetera. So that can vary. But for a de novo reef, it's about $10 million, 10 to 12 million. And that's now out of the gate. 